Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video, we will be covering the Paper 2D side scroller. We will be adding our own little tree that we drew in Inkscape. We exported that to Blender and then we added our own animation to it. So this isn't a key uh, frame by frame animation. This is actually just like a normal um, animation using armature that we um, created in Blender and then exported it to uh, Unreal Engine 4. So this is the basic part of a new tutorial series. So if you want to learn something a bit more on how to create 2D graphics, then um, stick around and I hope you learn something new. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open Inkscape. And then if you don't have Inkscape, just check the link in the description below. It is a free program. You can download it. And let's just select Draw Bezier Curve. And we're going to draw a basic Christmas tree. So if you hold Control and mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. And I'm just going to click here. And then without holding, click there. And then we're just going to draw a basic Christmas tree. There we go, and we're just going to draw its base here as well. There we go. So, select and transform tool, you just click there, click whichever one you want to edit first, so let's do the tree, and then click the fill bounded area, and then just click a color, so green, and you see it will fill up the area that you made. Do the same over here and let us click a brown and there we go and that's our basic Christmas tree done and now we're just going to save it we're not going to export we're just going to save the image as the default Inkscape SVG file so we're just going to call this tree enter and then we're going to jump over to blender now, for Unreal, you need to just change some settings, but the only setting that I currently change for Unreal is I just go into the scene properties here on the right, and I just change that to metric and do nothing else. Well, for now, I'm just going to start screencast key so you guys can see which buttons I'm pushing on the left. Okay, and I'm just going to select everything in the scene and delete it. I'm going to click import and then scalable vector graphics. If you don't have this option, just check your user prefer preferences. And you can see under add ons, if you just type in SVG, you'll see over there. You could just make sure that it is enabled. So let's import it, save it on my desktop. And you'll see it imports very small. So we just quickly want to check its size. So note that these two parts will be imported as separate models because we did do them as separate individual drawings here. And so hold shift and then just select both of them. And we'll see the size is fairly small. But first what I want to do, I just want to go into the right view. Hit 5 to go into orthographic view and rotate it by negative 90 degrees. So if you go back into the front view, you'll see the tree is upright. The tree is fairly small, so let's just scale it 10. It should make it about 2 meters high, so let's uh, scale it by 7. Okay, so it's 1.8 meters tall and 1.2 wide. That's okay. Then you'll see its origin point is over there. Um, with both selected, just click here on the left, set origin to center of mass. And then you could just move it over there. Okay, so if you select your one model and you go into edit mode, you'll notice that these are Bezier curves. So you can still edit it here if you want. You can still change some details, make that round or something like that. But to use it in Unreal, we need to convert this into a workable mesh. So to do that, uh, stay in object mode, select the mesh you want to convert, and hit, hit Alt-C, and then you'll see Convert to Mesh from Curve, the second one, 
And then if you go back into edit mode, you'll see that it has changed. It is no longer, you can still edit it a little bit, but it is now a full on mesh that you can use. Let's do the same with the bottom piece. There we go. And then we select them both and hit control J to join them so that they are part of one singular object. And that's our Christmas tree done. We can export this to Unreal if we really want to right now. But one more thing that I want to do is I want to add a bit of an animation to it. So making sure that our um, 3D cursor is at the bottom, you can hit Shift C so you can just center everything. Shift A, and we're going to add a single bone armature. Time to go into edit mode and just going to shrink it down. Then extrude twice, so I get to the top. Then you'll see that's what it looks like. And then that is our armature. Then you select your mesh and your armature by holding shift and then right clicking and then control P. And then you see set parent two, we're going to use this one with automatic weights. Now, if you select the armature first, and then the mesh and hit control P, you'll see it will not give you that option. So make sure you select the mesh first and then the armature, and then you'll have that option. Okay, so now if we select our armature and we go into pose mode, we rotate, you see it changes. There we go. So I don't really want this piece to change that at all. And I also don't want this to change the base. So what we need to do here is select your mesh and then go into weight paint mode. And then if you go on to the right here, we'll see that each of the bones that we have, now we can see that that's the first one, so that's the bottom one, that's the middle one, and that's the top one. So the middle one, we don't want to influence this area. So with weight paint mode, you just select weight to zero. You can increase the size and then just paint the, that area because we don't want it to influence that area at all. And then the top is also, we don't want that to influence the bottom area at all. And then here, we don't want it to influence that part at all either. So now if we go back into um, object mode and just select that, and rotate, you'll see, there we go. Oh, that's not too great, but it can look like the tree is dancing. Okay, so the last thing that I want to do is let's create an uh, animation for this. So to go into your just your uh, render settings and then just change your animation setting here to 30 frames a second uh, we just want to keep that um, because unreal uh, 24 frames is more for for films or television unreal works with 30 frames a second uh, animation so we just want to select that and then so that means that every 30 frames down here on our timeline is effectively one second so starting at, let's start at one. And then we select all of our bones. We select the key ring tool down here and you set location, rotation and scale. So we select that and then we click the insert keyframe tool. And then that will be your base keyframe. And then we go to, let's say 30. We rotate this that way, this that way, and this that way. And we select them all again and click again. So if you actually play it, you'll see that's what it does. And we go to 60. Select them all again. And let's maybe rotate that way, rotate that way and rotate that way. Select them all again and then just click there. So now you'll see zoom zoom. That's how the animation will play out. But now we wanted to go back to the base pose within another second. So 
let's select the first keyframe that we did here. We move the timeline to number one. We select all of them. Let's make sure we select all of them. Hit Control C to copy, and then move over to 90. Hit Control V, paste, and then insert the keyframe. That means that when it's done with the animation, it will go back to its base pose. Okay. And then our end animation is set to 250. Well, our animation is only 90 frames long, so we can send that to 90. So that's our entire animation. You can hit play and you can see what it looks like. Okay. So now what we need to do is select your mesh, select your um, armature. Let's make sure we're in object mode. And we're going to export this because this is effectively done. Well, um, you could give the animation a name, but that's something for a different tutorial completely. So I'm just going to leave that out of this one. And let us just put it on the desktop. We're going to click selected objects. We're going to change the forward to negative Y as the forward. And then just by armatures, we're just going to deselect leaf bone. Other than that, we're not going to change anything. And let's just see how it exports. So let's just call it tree um, animation. And click export. Let's jump over to Unreal Engine 4. And you can see this is the paper 2D side scroller template. This is what it looks like. And let's just go to there. I'm going to click import and jump over to my desktop and tree in animation. Now everything is saved in the file, so you can click import materials, import textures, and just import animations. Make sure that that is checked and click import. Okay, it doesn't have any smoothing groups and it doesn't have a mesh curve, um, or the mesh curve doesn't have a UV set because we never set that in our model itself. But let's open the animation. Remember, the reason why it doesn't have any UVs is because it set everything to a solid color. So that's what it looks like. And, well, let's just see the size and everything looks okay. So you can either now just drag off your, uh, your tree model over here. And you'll see it won't display. The reason why it won't display is to open the materials. We are just going to... Instead of having it as a base color, we're going to have it as an emissive color. If we click apply again, and do the same with this one. Oops, you just need to remove the base color. All right, let's just see if it works this time. Let's see, it's, it's taking a while to compile. Let me just pause here. All right, there we go. Okay, you can have them both hooked up. It seems it just was messing around with me. So, uh, but as we're just using one emissive color, let's just leave it as is. And if you click play, you'll see that it's there. Okay, no currently passing behind it I can just maybe stop that move it a bit backwards there we go and there's our little tree you can see it's roughly the size of the unreal man which uh, is I think he is about two meters tall so uh, but now you want the animations to play so you can either go into the object and change that it plays the animation or you could just take the animation file um, that we created here itself. Just drag it in. And then click play. And you see we have our little dancing tree. Now, um, this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, there will be another tutorial on how to do this using GIMP itself and a completely different method. But this is just if you want to do some quick prototyping, this would be an easy way just to get some color into your levels. Or if you're doing a game jam or something like that and you want to really work quickly, this would be a way to do it. Um, 
but it is in no way final work but i mean if you can use it for your game then you it uh, it would become useful so if you guys like what you saw uh please subscribe to my channel i will be uploading another video regarding creating content for the paper 2d side scroller and this is going to be a bit more in depth where we're actually going to create a, a, a tree from a drawing or we're going to um, create our own drawings so if you guys want to see more of that, please subscribe to the channel. I thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.